Jean Michael Hedgepeth, and si cela ne vous ennuie pas, j'aimerais commencer ce discours en français. Uh, J'étudie le français depuis six mois, et je l'adore absolument. Uh, ma femme et moi avons visité Paris en octobre pendant deux semaines. Uh, nous avons passé un moment merveilleux. Apprendre cette belle langue m'a aidé à devenir plus compréhensive envers mes collègues d'autres disciplines. Aujourd'hui, je vais parler de comment nous pouvons surmonter la barrière de la langue dans nos entreprises. Well, there were two groups just now. One group wondered what in the hell I was just talking about, right? And you started going for Twitter and you started going for your laptop. The other group realized that I was speaking French with a heavy French uh, American accent and trying as best as I could. Today, we're gonna to talk about cultures in different groups within an organization and how that's kind of like speaking different languages and how you need to appreciate that to be successful within your configuration management pursuits. I started my career out as a developer. And so I was rewarded for being creative, for thinking outside of the box, for disruptive innovation, for being awesome, I thought and for making the company a lot of money. And uh, that was cool. I um, really enjoy being creative. I really enjoy thinking outside of the box, but it surprised me as I got into configuration management to realize that other groups did not view me the same way as I viewed myself. Uh, I viewed operations as a big bureaucracy. Yes, it's way better than anarchy. I don't want just everything to blow up, but it's kind of boring uh, to me as a developer. No offense to anyone out there. We'll get to you in a second. Um, so it's kind of boring. We, uh, they have viewed me as a child who uh, was disruptively innovating a huge mess that he did not think through uh, before he wanted to go through to production. And I had to appreciate that thought when I went toward uh, configuration management. So. Uh, they viewed themselves as protectors, as people who put out the fire. They would say uh, that they are the ones who are actually bringing money into the organization by making the thing run. And so I had to empathize with them. I had to realize that, hey, if we can operationalize uh, what developers are telling you you want uh, before they even get to you, uh, your life is going to be much easier. So I looked at security as basically a bunch of boring paperwork. So yes, I needed to uh, fill out this document, this policy, tell you that I'm secure. Uh, no, I didn't forget anything, but I really did. And uh, they viewed me as a mortal threat to the existence of the business. And uh, the more I fought this, the more they fought back. And uh, that gets you into a downward, downward spiral of, um, no, uh, yes, yes, this is a secure, just let me deploy it. And uh, the security says no, because we don't feel, we don't feel like you're um, thinking things through. So resistance is futile with security, and I need to work with them in order to uh, accomplish the goal. And I realize that they have problems too. First is with compliance. So uh, it turns out getting everything uh, consistent in the organ in in your infrastructure is really really hard and we can fix that with automation also we can limit uh, the attack vectors in the system by creating a more compliant system to whatever policy they have and uh, so as they know that i'm going to within configuration management help them with their problems um, and, and i speak their language they benefit so the conclusion here we're all different and rather than fight that reality uh, we embrace it. It's just like people speaking different languages. Uh, they come together and, and you can translate between each other. The key though that I've found is to have empathy, uh, to work together to see what each other's problems are and to come up with a common solution that uh, deals with everyone's uh, problems. So merci beaucoup, un plaisir. Je veux parler en français lors de cette conference. And if you would like to reach me on my blog, my blog is hedge-ops.com. Thank you very much.